question first on on the um, the talks you had with um, Abu Mazen. There was an interview you gave several weeks ago um, with Avi Sakharov, the, j the journalist, in which you discussed the details of your, of your talks. Yeah. Um, and you know, you said some of what you had said here about you know he didn't say no, but he didn't respond. But the way that your remarks were spun, I think, by many here in D.C., especially on the right side, was that this is more evidence that the Palestinians are simply not interested in agreement and there's no partner for peace. I wonder if you could just talk a little bit about how you interpret that. Do you agree with that? And, and very quickly, on the Arab Peace Initiative, do you think that the current unrest in the region, how does that impact the viability of the peace initiative as a basis for, for future negotiations? Well, the first section is that I never said, never did I mean to say <coughs> that uh, the fact that he s s didn't say no uh, was really uh, just a more polite way of uh, blaming him for not having peace with Israel. I, I, uh, there were many reasons, some of which can be uh, understood. You know, I kept saying all the time when people talk to me about Abu Mazen, they said he's not serious, he's not really, uh, he doesn't mean it seriously, he's uh, very weak and so on and so forth. I said, look, everyone within the context of Israel understands that the pressures uh, on Bibi from the right wing makes it very difficult for him to take a decision and must be understood, it must be, uh, you know, reconciled with that. Uh, it's not easy because, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the uh, settlers, the supporters, and some of the extreme representative of the Likud within this, uh, their parliamentary faction, and they are now more than they were in the past, make it impossible for Bibi. I don't accept it, by the way. I think that if someone in the position of leadership needs to take a decision against the tide, against the, uh, the uh, general attitude of some of his uh, members, he, this is where his leadership should be tested. But I said, you understand it about Bibi and you don't understand it about Abu Mazen? Does he not have Dahlan who is ready to overthrow him any minute? And what about the Hamas? And what about all the others in his own party? Do you think that opposition is a creation only of Israeli politics? So he's got his problems just as well. And I don't agree that he is not a partner. He said against, he said that he is against terror when he was number two to Yasser Arafat. In the middle of the second intifada, he stood up and said, I am against it. At a time when Arafat perpetrated it. So I think that he is a partner for peace, and I don't know amongst the Palestinians who may be a better partner for peace. So if we want peace, we have to find the good excuses why to make peace with him, rather than to say why he is not ready to make peace. And also, if you read, uh, you know, I'm not a sales uh, representative for, uh, uh, salesman for uh, Condi Rice's book or, John, uh, or George Bush's uh, book, but if you read her book, she writes some stunning things about how senior Israelis came to, us, to, to her, to her, and to Abu Mazen and advised them, stay away from Olmert, don't, don't, don't cherish his proposals because soon enough he will be gone, and who knows, maybe you can get more, and so on and so forth. At a time when she said to the president that she he is right that when he said to her that Olmert wants peace, except that she thinks that Olmert will not leave, he will die because they killed Rabin for far less. So I don't want to judge. I quote you from the book of Condi Rice. And it's written. It's written, no, it's written. I wasn't present when she met with Israelis, senior Israelis who told her, don't, don't go uh, uh, forward with uh, with uh, Olmert's proposals. I wasn't there. I, I can't I, I can't verify it or, or, or deny it. I can only quote from what she wrote from meetings, and I don't see any reason that she will write it unless she <laughs> she says the truth. She's not an enemy. She's a good friend. She's a good friend of Israel. She's a good friend of me. She's a good friend of others in Israel, and I like her very much. And she was very constructive as a foreign minister. She visited the Middle East 25 times at the time that I was prime minister. This is not uh, insignificant. So I don't want to blame anyone. I don't want to blame ourselves, definitely. I don't want to blame the Palestinians. 
and I don't want to blame the Americans. I want that all these forces will understand the urgency that we are in and that everything depends entirely on a breakthrough between us and the Palestinians, and that also refers to the Arab countries.